Um, what made you realize that you had a talent in art? Um, well, it certainly wasn't from my parents. Um, I mean, their, their dad was like a engineer slash fitter and turner and mum was like a beauty therapist. So, I mean, there'd be some kind of talent that could come through there, I guess. But um, I think, I mean, I did design at uni, but I finished that about 10 years ago. And I guess from there, I was always good with composition. But um, I think, I mean, there's, always, there's obviously got to be some talent, but you've got to work on it really hard and be really harsh. I guess your harshest critic so you can continue to improve. Yeah. Uh, um, we understand that you have travelled internationally. Do you think the visual art in Brisbane is, can complete, I mean, compete with um, the other cities? Um, well, I've checked. I haven't kind of been all over the world, but I've seen some major spaces in like Berlin and London and you know, throughout Australia. I mean, Australia's got some major galleries too. So, I mean, I, I guess it's competing on different levels. There's the you know, major galleries in Brazil, like Goma, for example. Um, I guess. I mean, some shows there can be hot or not. I mean, I think it's not necessarily about competing. I think it's about, you know, establishing just um, a culture within Brisbane from the ground up. So it could be um, from the artist run spaces like Love Love that you checked out, or there's, there's about, you know, 12 of those in Brizzy. Um, so with a lot of those spaces, um, they're particularly good for being experimental with work because, I mean, it's it's hard to sell work and you know continue your career there, but it's it's a good start for emerging artists and people trying to get to that next level, like trying to get into some commercial spaces or um, get in major galleries like Goma, for example. So, yeah. So you know, Brisbane's doing pretty well. It's definitely improving. Um, how long have you been a professional artist? Uh, I guess about 10 years now, yeah. Are there locations other than Brisbane where your art is displayed? Um, well I'm not showing anywhere else at the moment, but I did just have a show, a group show in Melbourne, so it was about 8 or 9 artists and there was 6 international ones. Few Australian ones, so um, you know Melbourne's a good space, as you know, um, but Brisbane is definitely catching up. So yeah, it's good. As an artist, what is your view on the art in Brisbane? Um, I think overall, per capita, Brisbane's pretty good. Um, you go to any city, wherever. I mean, Berlin, for example. You know, people go, well, Berlin is so good for art. You know, it's pretty good, but but there's a lot of, you know, uh, going along with, you know, a lot of the, what one might coin as really good art, there's a lot of, you know, really poor art at the same time. So I think, you know, sometimes it's about the ratio of it. So, you know, there's a bit of hot and hot, but di people, different people have different tastes too, so. Yep. Yeah. Um, is there many opportunities for young artists? Uh, like just out of uni or just out of school? What, what do you mean? Kind of just out of school? Yeah, just out of school. Oh, well, just out of school, um, I guess, I mean, you know, doing art at uni is a, a, a good step and there's, um, you know, there's plenty of different courses that you can do in there, so there's opportunity there, but um, from there, you know, finishing uni, then you can, you know, try to get into some art front spaces or group shows, maybe try and get a body of work together where you can have a, a solo exhibition. So I think, um, I, th I mean, with the current government, the grants have disappeared a fair bit. There's like a little bit less of the grants. But, um, you know, they're still out there and there's still opportunities, I think, but people shouldn't be relying on getting free money off the government anyway. They should, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, as a young child, was your dream always to be an artist, or was there other dreams? Um, I just kind of wanted to go surfing, actually, but um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I'm more interested in art now. But um, they coexist. Um, so I mean, I did design at uni, just thinking. I, I guess it was a semi-conservative or um, it was a very sensible decision I guess at the time when I made the decision when I was 17 or whatever. Um, thinking, you know, I wasn't a very good artist then. I mean I was, you know, all right for my age but um, from there I decided to become an artist so I think it just kind of, if it happens, it happens. As you just said you wanted to have a dream of surfing. Did you not always live in Brisbane then? No, I was always in Brisbane, but like every single weekend or holiday day I was at the coast. So. Yeah. yeah. But that's a very, you know, <laughs> yeah. a, a childish kind of, you know, when yeah. you're 10 years old when you want to be um, a footy player or something. You know? Yeah. Um, when you first started selling your art, was it difficult? Um, well, I mean, obviously, initially, your works aren't as expensive, but I think for a certain extent an artist can rely a little bit on family and friends initially for the first couple of years, but there's only so long, you know, because like, oh, they're an artist, you know, people support the team. But um, I think from there, you know, that's not going to last forever, is it? So you've got to keep, you know, keep working hard and trying to find new spaces to show in and um, you know, see how other people can see your art and you know, if they buy it, they buy it, if they don't, they don't. I mean there's some art though that doesn't, you can't sell, so it's yep. that too. Yeah. Um, who has been your biggest support throughout your career? Uh, I guess, mum, I guess. She knows pretty good. Um, do you prefer painting on canvas or street art and why? Um, painting on canvas, um, I think, I mean, doing really big scale stuff on the street, like I've done a few murals or whatever, that's um, always pretty fun to paint really big, like, yeah. you know, you see the end product and people can see it from 100 metres away, so that's pretty cool, but I think, um, as a, I don't know, Painting on canvas and showing in a gallery is a bit more of an intimate setting, so I think people tend to think about the work more, and I think because of that, there's more thought that's gone into the work, so I think that's better, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, how long would it actually take to paint a street art? Uh, like what kind of thing? Like just people doing illegal stuff, or like what you do? Uh, I don't really do street stuff anymore, but I, I did just do a, it's about a 50 metre long by 8 metre high mural at Northgate with a couple of other people and that took us about 6 days, so that was a pretty big day, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, that's it. Thank that's you. all good. Sorry. Thank you. Cheers guys.